as it's a new year and I'm just approaching 500 subscribers, I thought, what better way to bring in the new year than by alienating half my audience and losing those 500 subscribers by doing this. Good morning, Wanderers. Welcome back to Kawasaki Wanderer. Doesn't quite have the same ring, does it? So, let me just start by saying, no, the bullet isn't gone forever. I was just being cheeky and clickbaity with whatever thumbnail and title I came up with. Today, you joined me on the fabulous machine known as Birdie. Now, why Birdie? Because Birdie is a lot chirpier than the bullet and it's also an extremely clever acronym. Now what is that? Well, it's when you take the letters of the word and use them to form a sort of sentence. In Birdie's case, that is, bike I'm riding, then examination, yes. So, what does that mean? Uh, so for the moment, I have my test booked, but in Ireland everything is so delayed, I don't know when it's going to be. But in the run up to that, I'm going to be using this bike for the test, the, the Kawasaki ER6F. Because it's a nice little bike, and very manageable, and I can get my A license and then I can drive anything. I'm hoping to get that test done before the summer, so that, fingers crossed, I could go abroad with either the Bullet or rent a motorcycle somewhere, like France, which would be fantastic. But where is the Daisy Bell Bullet? Well, as I've always said, the Bullet is a clairvoyant machine and knows exactly what you need at exactly the right time. So just before Christmas I got my insurance updated so that I could drive the Bullet and then also any other bike that I had the permission for. And I was going to start riding this bike some point after the new year. But the bullet knew I needed a bit of a kick to get started. So I was driving along the prom on maybe New Year's Eve Eve. And I lightly tapped the rear brake and it locked the rear wheel up and locked the brake up. So I think the drum brake has uh, gone the way of the ghost and needs a rebuild. But the bullet knew I needed a reason to get started on this, so thank you, Daisy Bell. Uh, hopefully that'll be repaired in the, in the next few weeks and I'll get back to wandering on that. But in the interim, you're going to be joining me as Kawasaki Wanderer. But do stay tuned, because the bullet will be back. Now, you might notice that it's got this kind of quizzical dog look going on at the moment, with one ear up and one ear to the side. That's just something fun that started on the right today. And I was trying to fix it, but I think I need a bit of tape or some kind of tools to get in at that and tighten the connections. So I'm just using my left window. Not ideal, but hey. Today... We're going to stop off up here and I'm going to give you a little walk around of the bike. But today's mission, if you like... Uh, last night I came up with a new challenge for myself and my housemate, who's also on a motorbike. And uh, the idea is, go to a spot, take a picture of the bike, and give a little clue as to where it is. His clue is going to be this video, because he obviously watches this channel, because everyone should. But, you take a picture at the spot the previous person was with your bike, and then you find another spot and take a picture there and leave a little clue. So, for Marty today, he's going to have to find this spot and take a picture of his little Honda. And then he's going to have to take a picture somewhere else, and then I'm going to have to go find that. It'll all be happening on my Instagram, at Breadword, if you want to follow that. Or don't, I'm not your boss. Let's just pull in here and I'll give you a walk around, and then I'll take the picture. Aiden Mackin. <laughs> a grand old spot. I found this place on my bullet when I was doing the Knock Row Passage Tomb video. I'm practically handing Mary this one on a silver platter, but um, it's an old slate quarry. 
Wow. Just look at that deep blue colour. That's fantastic. If I was really crazy, I would drive the bike down there and take a picture at the water. I'm not sure it would appreciate that though. This is Birdie. A 2008 Kawasaki ER6F. The F standing for fared. So it's a different affair to the bullet altogether. And it's quite messy at the moment because I've been out riding it. <laughs> I've panniers on now just so that because the bullet's out of action for the moment I need some kind of way to get my clothes between places. We've got the rollers on it. Unfortunately I did drop it the other day and it did not land on the roller so but it's arrived with a little scratch. Sorry Laura who is my stepmother who actually owns this bike. <laughs> But it's a nifty machine and I'm learning to trust it and it's learning to trust me so with any luck, driving test will be soon, get that out of the way, get rid of this L vest, which I was at a stoplight the other day and someone pulled up to me and started berating me for having the L vest, calling me a disgrace. I, I can't help it, it's the rules of the road. <laughs> Anyways, that was just a quick update video on where I am and what's going on. Hopefully I'll be back soon on the bullet and we'll be going to more historical places, but in the meantime, let's give Birdie a chance. Oh, and because people love this kind of thing. That's how she sounds. Hopefully you can hear that. Talk to you next time. Bye.